Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple yield curve in QuantLab. Uh, we're going to make a discount curve and we're going to keep it as simple as possible. So let's start by adding an expression window and uh, let's start coding. Uh, okay, so we're going to return a, a graph. So we're going to use the series object. And we're going to have numbers on the x and y axis. My function. And we're going to give uh, the function a possibility to switch curves. So we're going to pass some variables to the function. And some curly brackets. Um, and then we start by initializing the curve. My curve. Uh, using the curve name, date, and quote side. And then we're going to make a disk func, which is a container for a disk count function, df. And we're going to use the method to do a zero coupon curve by method of bootstrapping. And that can be directly applied to a curve. And we're uh, let's use a linear interpolation. Um, And now we're ready to return uh, uh, our series object. So return series uh, and let's loop over t from uh, 0 0.1 year to 30 years using 0 0.1 step. And then let's take our discount function and let's choose a rate, some sort of rate. Let's take a zero rate that starts from spot for t and we want a continuous zero rate and then we're done so f7 for compile and now we can add a, a graph insert graph and now we can drag and drop this curve function into the graph and we can actually take two of them so we can have something to compare with so let's see let's take the ionia and we'll take today at mid, and let's take a US dollar um, overnight swap as well. Also that on today's date using mid, and there we have them. So, um, and we can uh, bring in a value cursor to see that they're, what the values are. We can switch so we get them. Um, in percentage points or something, we don't need that here. We and then we can zoom in this graph to get a closer look to where we're at. And uh, as you can see, um, uh, our they're changing values, which means that they're actually calculating in real time right now. If we want yesterday's values, we can put one minus one business day uh, on both, and then we have the values from yesterday. Uh, or 10 days ago or something and in this way we can actually compare so we can have uh, this one showing real time and this one showing minus one day and we can see the one day change so let's uh, let's see what it looks like uh, with the one day change well there's hardly any change there. so 10 business days back so we can see that uh, the rates have gone up. And that's it for now.